Hello, this is David from the tech support team at Alad Tech, and in this video we're going to be looking at how to create a special event or training schedule on your calendar here for those times that you do have trainings or special events and you need members to sign up for them or assign them to that particular event or training and where you can utilize it on any day that you wish. It's not on a particular pattern, they're kind of a one-off here and there kind of thing. So we're going to create a schedule to utilize for that that we can use anytime we want. On the calendar here, you'll notice we have a training here on the 15th, and we've set up an event for a football game at the high school here on the 18th. And you see there's no schedule in order to put people on that assignment. We need to get people to be able to sign up for it, you know, to get people to work that particular shift where well, we're going to create that shift by creating a schedule and that's done here in the setup area here in your top left under the setup and we're going to go to schedules and we're going to create that special event schedule now we would like it to be as generic as we can in the case that different events mean different things right it could be football games or state fairs or you know any other sporting event or otherwise that you need to staff particular members at and in this case you don't necessarily have to have it exist between so you don't have to set a schedule to be locked in to only particular dates on the calendar because then you can't use it again right so you want to use it as an always exists and you're gonna see how this is gonna work that we can use it on any day that we want so we'll just call the special event and we're gonna decide how many positions we're gonna need on any one given special event and we already have EMTs and hires that's all we're gonna need for these things so let's say we might need as many as five on any one given day you don't need to use five every time but you want to make five available just in case and you say how early is the earliest time a special event might start so seven seven to seven covered all 24 hours and now we have one nice 24-hour schedule with up to five people uh, that we can schedule anytime we want and we're gonna save those changes now when we go back to the work schedule here we're gonna see that special event does exist on every day just like we said it always exists now because it always exists it automatically defaults to being open shifts that you can see here purple open shifts but we're not gonna need it every day right so we're gonna cover it up using block time right out of the gate we're gonna just take block time and we're gonna cover up every part of the schedule 24 hours a day seven days a week under schedule editors using repeats and rotations and we're going to utilize it do using the block time employee which is the last member on your drop down list here this is the tool the member so to speak that you're going to use to cover up all those open shifts and we're just going to walk it right through we're going to cover up the special event schedule we're going to cover up all positions every week all day long every day of the week starting October 1st all the way for two years and we're gonna go ahead and cover that up with block time let that run success go back to the schedule and now it's all covered up we don't see it open every day so now we have the ability to remove the block time on the shifts that we do need on the days we do have events such as the 18th so we can go to the 18th and edit that schedule and now we can go down to the special event schedule that now we can see is all blocked out all 24 hours and it's the football game day so we're going to need a couple of EMTs to work the football game and we're going to decide now which hours we need for those football games and let's just say the time is from 6 to 10 we're going to need one two EMTs let's say so we can take the block time drag it back to 6 p.m. Highlight the first one we're going to need and then cover up the back half of the shift here from 10 on using the block time employee down here. And now we can say from 10 till 7 in the morning, just add block time back. And we can do the same thing here. And now we have two openings between 6 and 10 for the special event that's on the 18th, which we know is the football game because we put a special event on there with the details already we hovered over the number 18 added the event which allowed us to take the information and say exactly what the event is for it's for the football game on the high school stadium it's from 6 to 10. save that so now when your members look at their schedule and look at the information they can see that there's an event this day here's the special event to sign up for the shifts 
or you can you know plug them in as assigned as needed or if you need to let people know that it is a new event and you know nobody has seen the schedule just recently you can use your find coverage alert to send out the alert that there is now an event on the 18th and you're looking for volunteers to sign up for it similarly you could do the same thing with a training just go and create a schedule called training and have generic uh, listing of how many people you might need in any given training you can have up to you know 20 30 people if you need and just block it all out again and then just open up the training spots as needed for when those training days come along just the same way we just did with special events any questions on any of this please give our help desk a call or send us an email anytime thank you for listening